Hey my friends, today is Friday the 7th of March 2023 and this is your card of the day. Right, so here we go. I am using the Shaman Stream Oracle by Alberto Valoldo and Colette Baron reed And these uh, illustrations have been done by Jenna Della Grotaglia. Grotaglia. I keep getting that name mixed up. Anyway. Father in the sky, mother in the earth, angels, ancestors from all four corners and realms, I welcome you to this space and I set the intention to hear, see, feel and know these words from spirit and to convey them in such a way as to enlighten, to inspire and to heal. So it is and so shall be. Okay. Well, actually, two are here. Interesting. I mean, I picked one, but then this slid out. This is one. Oops. I love technology. Technology loves me. Okay, well, uh, you need to pay attention. <laughs> I don't quite know what's going on with this, but <clears throat> we'll fix it. There we go. Uh, fuzzy wuzzies. Takes a minute for this camera to settle on. There we go. That's it. All right. So don't forget we've got our Archangel of the Week. Archangel Jeremiah and the wheel. The things that keep on moving. This is a theme to keep on moving. Now let's see. First card that came up. You know, this is so interesting because I made friends with this card this morning and just studied it. And this is the one I stopped on. Because the image was so vivid, it's a number 18, adds up to a 9. Eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. And I was paying attention to this little uh, nymph right in here, right in the middle. There is what I can see, some sort of um, image right there, like a bead. To me, it looks like a woman. With all sorts of the symbol of the sun, the jewelry, all of that. And once again, we're looking at an eye right there coming down from this bigger eye, which is the eagle eye. So there's that. Now we're thinking about what the symbolism means for today. Let's see if using the eyes of the eagle rising above the mischief and the mayhem, if I will. What that represents, number 43, it's an overflow. Overwhelm and plenty. So this comes up to a seven, four and a three. And the seven to me personally is a magical number. And if I'm looking at this image, I'm seeing everything flowing in perfect divine order. Now, it might look like, oh my goodness, there is a home, your castle, and there's just water just flowing through it. Let's see what else we see in this image. We've got lots of symbols right here. Just sitting there, watching all of this flow. And what I believe this means for you for me and the message not so much for us personally but more the message that we pass on to those we may meet that that are swarming around us wanting to create the fray that we need to rise above wanting to let us believe that there's a disaster we're drowning People are overwhelmed. Yes, be overwhelmed, but choose what you're being overwhelmed by. 
You can be overwhelmed by joy. You can be overwhelmed by your own magnificence. You can be overwhelmed with wealth. You can be overwhelmed with um, unbridled uh, health. You can be overwhelmed with the feeling of joy, the feeling of love, the feeling of God, the feeling of spirit, the feeling of just unadulterated happiness and harmony and nothing but God's opulence. If you want to be overwhelmed by those things, you're in charge of making that overwhelming stuff happen. It isn't the time to be bogged down by fear, bogged down by um, anxiety, bogged down by the feeling of depression, debauchery. Know that if you have these feelings, there is a root to it. There's a root and a vine that runs sometimes really, truly deep. And sometimes these roots that have you pulling you down into the depths of depravity are past life type roots. This is your opportunity to look through the eyes of an eagle, to go up above, to lift the vibration of your heart lifts the vibration of your mood, lifts the vibration of your spirit. And remember, your spirit has command of your body. Your spirit has command of your life. And I'm getting covered in boot goosebumps, so I know there's something here. This is flowing. Your spirit, your soul, the energy that runs through this lifetime, the lifetimes before, the lifetimes that are to come, the ascended spirit, if you will, is commanding you, which you're commanding it, to lift up higher. So if you've been using in your bodily, your physical world, um, words like, I'm overwhelmed, it's too much, I can't take this, it's blah, 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 repetitious recording that won't stop in your head. Now, we've got Archangel Jeremiah here and the number 10, the wheel, which is churn through it and look at it. Let the mess become the message. Um, let the pain, if you're in pain, be the purpose to move through it. Um, particularly if you are of the light, stepping into the light, realizing there's something greater for you out there available that you need to pay attention to, that you haven't been paying attention to. Those worries and those fears will keep round in that corner. It's a bit like when you're little and you believe there's monsters under your bed. Well, your imagination creates the monsters. Are they really monsters or is it just you know, plush toys that are creating a shadow, that your your alter mind, your shadow mind is making you believe these things. So I'm hoping that this is making sense to you. Don't feel like you're in the overflow of too much. There is never going to be enough. We're always going to be wanting to expand, to grow, to get more, to have more. And things will never be done. <laughs> I know some of you are like, oh, really? I've got to keep on doing that. Mm. There's a difference between simplifying, coming down to what do I need right now? What do I need right now this minute? Right now in this little cocoon of the world, right now for the next few hours, what do I need? Because I have it. I have what I need. But I'm also asking you to conjure be the conjurer of your own existence be the conjurer of your own day take a look up above imagine that you are looking at yourself from that bird's eye view from that spiritual space from that heart open heart joyful heart love look at yourself and what you're doing from that higher perch and are you seeing what you perceive as being overwhelm and plenty which is I think what this card is saying it's a number seven 
It's the, the, the world is full. Your world is full. Go get more. 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 Don't be greedy. Greedy is stopping somebody else from getting what they deserve. No, do so much so that you can convince somebody else how to do it. That's it. Passing on your legacy. Archangel Jeremiah, if you have been caught up in the fray, look for new beginnings. Look at it as the end of delays, a change in direction. All of these things are offering happiness, harmony, and the presence of God, God's opulence in your, um, let's see, in your home, in your mind, and in your whole world. All right, my friends, I'll be back tomorrow uh, with another one. Until then, I didn't get just that. be... Bl Could you try again? Well, not right now, Siri. Oh, Lord. I'll be Why with you. In what? Oh, okay. Well, just one second. This is too crazy. In a world where your wearable devices talk to you. All right, listen. Until tomorrow. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>